up viewers, JTL to be here. I'm very excited today because today, on behalf of a viewer of my friend GS Productions, I'm going to bring you a review of my personal favorite Batman movie of all time, Batman Forever. The story is about uh, is about Bat. The story obviously is about Batman, now played by Val Kilmer instead of Michael Keaton from the original two Batman films, as he tangles with a villainous duo of Two-Face, played by Tommy Lee Jones, and The Riddler, played by Jim Carrey, both of who are my favorite actors, some psychological assistants, if you will, from Nicole Kidman's character in the movie, Batman's gonna realize that it's not safe to... I wouldn't say not safe, but it's not easy to fight crime all by yourself. I kick Robin, played by Chris O'Donnell. Yes, Robin is in this movie. Batman and Robin are gonna team up and take take down the Riddler and Two Face, stop them from turning turning all of Gotham into Riddler's own personal little game, and as usual, send the criminals to Arkham where they belong. I really, kind of stretch the truth when I say send them to Arkham because really the Riddler's the one who gets to sent to Arkham Asylum instead of Two Face, because like the Joker and the Penguin before him. Well, I don't want to spoil the movie, so you're going to have to watch Batman or Batman Forever to find out. This movie was amazing. It may be from 1995, but still, it is an absolute favorite of mine. I mean, right next to the right next to the Dark Knight trilogy, of course. But pers personally, between the four between the four original Batman movies made by Tim Burton, I'd say Batman, the original from 1989, and Batman Forever are my two favorites. And also, Jay's Watch, who was the viewer who requested this review, he's gonna be... he's gonna be quite surprised by, by my reactions to Batman and Robin, because... well, I'll save that for my next video, okay? Ul but ultimately, Batman Forever, it's not as bad as people say it is. It's got great acting, it's got great action, and I mean great action sequences. I mean, when is it? When do you ever get to see the Batmobile right up the side of a building? And it's, it brings in Batman's sidekick Robin. And it stays true to the comics material. Uh, more or less. So in the end, I give Batman Forever a good 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'd give it higher if this actually stayed true to the comics material. And I gotta say, the actors... The actors, the actors that Tim Burton chose for the uh, to play the movie, superb. Especially, especially Jim Carrey, since he and Tommy Lee Jones are my two favorite actors. They work together so great. And personally, if Batman, if Batman Unchained, the sequel to the next movie I'm going to be reviewing, if that movie came out, I would have nominated Jim Carrey to play the part of the Joker, since. He was going to have a small portion in the movie. But anyway, stay tuned for my next movie review. So on behalf of my friend GS Productions, catch you later next time. So until then, to the Batcave!